we can start producing more stuff. More strike submarines, perhaps? Well, well, destroyers are doing okay. We'll maybe hold off on that. Uh, convoys. Hmm. We're probably doing okay for that. So let's go for strike subs. How many did I get? That's nice. I'll take that. That's a nice little bonus there. We've got 200 close air support on standby. Hmm. Tell you what we'll do. I'll split that down to two, and they're going to be to cover... Well, one will be to cover... Um, the armoured corps, and the rest will be to cover the cavalry. Excellent. Not that we're using them yet. I could do with some marines as well for that job. So if, do we have any more close air support? Nearly. Let's boost that up to 100. And just put that on training. We do have some guys going in, by the way. I don't know if they're actually in combat at the moment. I don't think they are because there's no fighting going on. But uh, I guess this is going to be the areas that we we uh, go at first. So they're generally safe things to attack. They'll give us better footholds in the med and help us control the seas a bit. And I can't see any good spots that we should really go and um, go and fight anywhere else. How's our fortress situation here? We've got level seven fortresses. Nice. This will hold. <laughs> in the overseas bit. Écoutez. They have. Oh, hang on. Let's train them up. Let's train everything up. Écoutez. In fact. Écoutez. Anything needs some training? Uh, th those. Uh, actually, let's, let's replace him. Let's put any old guy in charge there. Any old. Uh, there's a Polish general. We have some nice infantry generals actually in these exiled soldiers. New commander. Because I have plenty of command points. Wait, hang on. Is, was the new commander better than... Oh, he's a field marshal. Who was the new commander? Don't see where it's created one. It's not him, because he's already in charge there. Let me just see if that's... It's eaten the points. We have a crappy field marshal. These are all exiled, so it's not one of these. That's, um, that's eaten my command points, I think, and not given me a new general. Unless it's... Unless he is the new general, is he? I don't know. All right, well, forget about that. I don't think that worked quite as I wanted. Quill 18, start to use a playthrough. Oh, USSR playthrough, sorry. Crazy how much you can do with them now. Yeah, I think when I play those, I'll go for something different other than playing the typical communist Stalin sort of uh, thing. Do something a bit different. So, submarine. That's already in research, isn't it? Uh, where are we? In 41. Well, we're going to get the destroyer bonus for research. Do I want to... Do I want to... No, that's way ahead of time. Approved ship torpedo launcher. I can get better... Oh, this this is this is well worth having, so that uh, enables a floating harbor as well. So we can invade something different. Well, I think we should probably do that, as we're going to be working up the marines. But also, submarine torpedo attack plus twenty percent. Yeah, if we're going to re rely on subs a bit, we better work them up. Attention. What have we got? More cavalry. Let's take this guy out. New theatre. We might replace him. We'll get some command points. I think we're going to make old Charles de Gaulle here. Oh, he's not bad. He's got he's got some good stats actually. Division recovery rate, combined arms expert. Okay, he's not bad. We'll leave him in charge. I, I was going to chop him out, but uh, we'll leave him as he is. 
if you train them for jungle warfare in Vietnam, if you actually, if you put troops into jungle areas, they will acclimatize to, to hot areas. So I think they have less penalty. Same as if you put them in the Alps. Attention. Like these guys, uh, I think. Yep, cold acclimatized. Now what bonus that gives, I forget. Maybe you get a penalty if they're not acclimatized, as some indeed aren't. I forget exactly what it is. But yeah, we should have troops acclimatized in the Everything. desert as well. Yeah, slightly. If they were down here, they'd acclimatize faster. And there's things you can do to help them acclimatize faster too. Dutch exiles. We no longer get the effect from devalue the franc, so that's increased there, but we'll lose a few military or civilian factories from that. Which is okay. I'll, I will, I'll take that. That's fine. It did its job when we needed it. The air situation. After a long and hazardous journey through enemy-held territory, Luxembourg exile leader offers service. Excellent. Well, yes, he probably had a very long way to go to get to France, I'm sure. Let's just call this the, um, I don't know, the offensive army one. The name of the need of, you know, for want of a better name, actually. Can we change that? Yes, we can. Good, good, good. Think I would like the Tsar path for Russia? Well, uh, I don't mind hard challenges. It would be something different because I did a, I've done a, like, a almost take over the world with Russia before. And once you get things rolling, they are really good. Okay, hopefully I can stop there on that for now. We need to put some effort into tanks. So we're going to need... I want that, but I also want that and that. And that. We're still making light tanks, aren't we? Hmm. Hmm. Cheaper trains would be nice as well, maybe. Good. I'm glad that we've got that improved so we can... Uh, knock down the rate at which those are being produced in favour of we are behind on that truck situation looks better we intend to make some more motorised stuff at some point though I'll leave that on where it is for now the fighters Toad Anti-Air is going to be it's going to be there in no time, then it's going to start building a good stock, so I don't want to make a huge amount of that. It is useful stuff to have, though. Yeah, go on, I will put one into there. Because it also increases the piercing factor a little bit of divisions to help with their anti-tank, anti-armor capabilities. Let's try and get the fighters improved, shall we? Go on, let's build a massive air force. Because the fighters have been getting hit really hard for a long time. Nice. Three more infantry divisions. Stuff's starting to roll out at last. I might put this division, actually. Oh, they were holding down here, weren't they? Holding the ports. <laughs> I need more troops. Of course, if I control the med, these ports are safe anyway, so... Do I want to be launching invasions from France? Japan declared war on the Philippines. Okay. That's going to escalate things pretty fast, I think. I expect to see the uh, USA get involved reasonably quickly. Cypher for Italy is fully decrypted. Nice, that reminds me. I've done nothing with this. This guy still hasn't got his intelligence network built up. I could spend a bit of effort doing this now if I really wanted to. Cryptology. We should also do Germany then in that case, shouldn't we? That's going to take a long, a whole long time to do. Three years. Unless we start boosting this up, which we probably should. Because we could do with some more recruits in this. There are some useful things that we can do. So, defense. Let's see. Cryptology. Radio interception group. Decryption power. It doesn't take too long to get these things going. So we should. There's also there's passive defense. One of these will add 
localized training centers. So that there's one of these. Oh, here we go. Is it this? Civilian Intelligence Army Department, Air Force Department. It's only 30 days. There's one of these which increases the number of operatives you can have, but I can forget what it is. Thought it was that one, but I'm not sure what it is now. Unlocked local agent recruitment decisions. Let's do these anyway. It doesn't take long to actually uh, build these. France is going to have an intelligence network. Excellent. We have 1940 submarines. Cool. I'm going to wait till... Actually, I'm not going to wait anything. Let's get the snorkels developed. And over on the destroyers, we should get that done. Um, oh, there's so much. Actually, sod the destroyers. We want radar on destroyers if we're going to do that. So let me go down the industry side. See how far we are behind with things? It's, it feels like we're a long way back. Let's get this going. Will I be playing as China next? They have a lot of manpower to China. However, it's really slow to develop anything there. They have like so poor industry and infrastructure and everything to start with. Um, I've played a bit of a game with them before, off stream, and um, it was it was okay. But uh, it, it takes a long time to really ramp anything up. And the Japanese can be a problem early on as well. So what have we got? No enemy side. It is because I've just set the Germans off. I'm sure I set the Germans off. I'm sure I set that off, but for reasons unknown to me, it's, it's cancelled it. That's good. We can get rid of that. Uh, we have... We have the Marines. So this is going to go into the offensive army. Oh, let's, let's form them into an army to start with. Put them in there. We'll change the cavalry colour to green. Some of Napoleon's Imperial Guard Hussars, I think, wore green. So we'll try and justify it like that. It was kind of a darker green than that. But then if I make it really dark green, I can't see it on here, so that will have to do. Um, and these guys will make... We need a good leader here, a really good leader. Who's a really good infantry leader? Do we have any French people left? We do. We have a hill fighter. He's not the guy I had in mind. Hmm, we have a skilled staffer. That's really nice. It's probably not what we want for the Marines, but we have a commando specialist. Non-combat, out of supply penalties. Should we put him in for fun? He's Polish. I, I, it seems like all our non-French generals are better, better choices. Wait, hang on. That portrait is the same as the one for this. So, when, but they're different names. His stats are a bit better. So let me switch that over. And now, if we go to the Marines here, which are supposed to be blue. Thank you. Is that other guy any better? Uh, he is. He's an infantry. Now, does that count for Marines? They count as infantry, don't they? These tanks and planes, well, they, they're just generic models in the war. I have one of the... Um, there's one of the expansions. I forget which it is. It might be Together for Victory. Can't remember. That adds models into some of them. So they're no longer generic. They have names, but they're the same stats as, as any other countries like uh, 1936 fighters or whatever. They're all the same. But um, it just adds a bit of flavour if they, they look like a Spitfire or a Hurricane and stuff. It doesn't actually modify anything. He doesn't have great stats. Uh, I will put... Go on, I'm going to put this guy in. This one. He's got a really good cheesy grin. So we're going to go for this. A war hero and a commando. That sounds quite good. Let's put him in. And let's get him training the Marines for their first operation. Which is... Should we try and get this back? 
I think we should try and get this back. We'll be crossing two seas. We don't have the benefit to cross there. We should probably... Right, let's get them over to North Africa. I have a plan. And it's a good plan. We'll train them when we get there. But what we do need is... Uh, we're going to go for the British Army again. Because if it all goes wrong and we can't get these fellas out, this ain't so bad. Oh, hang on. Are we going to be able to do this? Is our naval invasion capacity enough? I think it will be. I don't want that. I want that one. I want those two ideally, but it's not going to let me do it, is it? I can land across the entire island from there. That would be hilariously bad. No, okay. So if I land an entire force there, now the marines going in against the port, we have to assume, of course, that there's going to be nothing in that square. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll put the order in anyway. Aye. And let's drop these fellas into this offensive army so they get the benefit of that particular field marshal. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Use the portable harbour. Yeah, I don't have that yet, but that's a good idea. I didn't think I needed to press play. No, it's just not selected it. It has now. It's because I think I clicked on Germany and not directly on there. So it should have done it either way, but uh, maybe that's all it was. Oh, hang on. We had... We were, we're going to need some more aircraft. What have we got? We have some guys in training, don't we? What's up here? Yeah, we're going to assign this to the... Um, as ground attack to, and supporting the Marines. But we'll let them train up a little bit first. However, we'll, we will... Let's put them over here where they're going to be some use. And they can train there just as well. Don't let me forget that's there. That's going to be quite an important thing. The Danes have turned up. No more lend leases. We're good. Écoutez. You into there. We nearly have this army completed. Écoutez. Train up the ones that aren't quite there. Oh, and oh crap, yes. Well, when they are completed, I need to change them to the new template, don't I? The naval act... No, there's not much naval um, action going on, actually. That's a good point. Army deployment, civilian employment, passive defence. We should probably have that. There's all this stuff we should definitely have. That would help with decrypting the German stuff. If I go to radio interception. I mean, all these things do, so... Which is the one, though? There's one... I'm going to have to mouse over it till I find it. I'm sure there's one that tells me when I get it, it, gives, it opens up another operative slot. But I, I forget what it is. I would have thought it was that. It says operative recruitment choices. I wonder if that's what it means. The young school. Nice. So before we go down... What would that have given me? It was just submarine models. So let's get uh, let's get this. So I do need naval experience. And uh, cheaper or quicker to research that 1940s destroyer as well. Let me go on to that because what I think we can do now 7th July we'll modify that, no more 1936 subs, we're going for 1940s, let's create a variant 1940 attack subs my big naval fleet has not got into any action whatsoever so maybe the Royal Navy's cleaned the seas for us, I don't know we'll make these good, torpedo tubes 3 there's a snorkel to go on there. Um, torpedo. All the torpedoes. Everything. Yes. Everything in there. Nice. So that should make them, hopefully, quite dangerous. Cool. That's going to be better. They're going to be substantially more effective than the, the stuff that we've got kicking about at the moment.
modify the officer core. We could modify the officer core. We have someone in air command, don't we? Spirit of the Air Force. What have we got? We've got veteran air instructors. Continuous strike. Air support mission efficiency. Home defense. Air power projection. What does that do? A special daring is necessary when fighting away from home. Centralized control. And battlefield air interdiction. Ground attack factor. Ground attack factor. Okay. I'll go with that. Creating a variant. The TVA might be around the corner. We're actually watching Loki at the moment. I think we're about three episodes in. And I'm really waiting for it to kick off. Because it's been okay. But it's not grabbing me so far. Yeah, I know. The, the, the French economy and industry and science research suffered so that I could develop the fort and get our border strategy in place. And that's worked. And now we're catching up quite nicely. We're building forces. We've got new troops and stuff on the go. We're planning this really sneaky invasion of, um, of Sardinia. As soon as I find my Marines, who I Battle appear strong. to have lost. Oh, they're over there. Excellent. Okay. So get training. I'm not going to send these bad boys in without any training. Again, that's only sent 10 divisions in. Is that, our, is that our limit at the moment? I bet that's our limit until we get the next naval invasion thing. Here we go again. Communist influence foreign policy. Communists often consider themselves to be part of an international revolution. Our choice to accept them as partners in our government has drawn the attention of many of their international allies. Representatives of communist parties maintain close ties to nations which have abandoned our form of government in favour of a dictatorship of the proletariat. Ties which we may need to acknowledge in French foreign policy if we wish to retain their support. The Soviet Union gains communists and government opinion of France. Uh, down that path lies the destruction of France itself. Yep, yeah, go on. I want to get rid of this these communist flipping events. And uh, I want rid of that as much as possible. I don't know if actually getting rid of that altogether will make any difference. We maybe still get strikes and stuff, but we're, we're going to go for it. Right, in that case then, I'll need to set the Marines off. Oh, let me do this. Let me do this. Let's cancel that. Put the Marines on an on order first, which are going to go straight in there. Okay, we've got that. Is that giving us that doesn't seem to have... No, it hasn't. Oh, bollocks. I can become a spy master. Okay, there can be one spy master per faction. And that'll give me an extra one. So, it's going to cost me... Yeah, go on then. Go on then. Let's get some spies on the go. Operatives. One out of five. Nice! Okay, great. So, now we can recruit some stuff. That's what we want. Intelligence... Let's start doing this. Let's start boosting some stuff up. Radio intersection group. Let's go with that. Right, so where were we? We were setting the Marines off. So that's four divisions. So then if I set get these guys... Sure. Is everybody there? Or is there a division missing somewhere? Aye. I bet this only goes with another six. So we're going to go in there and we're going to try and attack from land. And it has, so that's my limit, 10 divisions at the moment. Is there a way to see that anywhere? I'm sure there is, but I, I don't know where, so. Uh, do we need to change anything else here? This would be great, but um, yeah, it's experience, unfortunately. And I need to save that for the destroyer models. Right, okay. Yeah, the Navy is fairly quiet. I mean, we are losing attack subs and submarines, but uh, what have we got here? Are these all? These are all 19... No, they're not all. Right, so you are going to just form... 
Can I actually send them there? I can. All right. Why have we got two things joining? Oh, they must be reinforcing, so they were probably damaged before. So I'll just put them onto convoy raiding. They are all raiding, aren't they? Yes, they are. Let's uh, mix some of these up because I've got too many things in there. The two and the two are no good together. And we've also got five. So I'll put them in as one big thing here. Set them raiding as well. Those will join up. They haven't gone. It's okay. They're just going to move around, find each other. Two more mine submarines. All right, these guys are running out, so I'm losing a lot of mine subs. I can make 1940s mine subs because I can put a snorkel on them, and it'll just mean they're a lot more visible. That would be a good move, but I might need to wait until we've got a bit more XP. And destroyers. Yeah, 1936 destroyers. I wonder if we're not finding enough enemy subs because we know that they're out there. They might just uh, not have enough sonar and everything on. I don't know. Later, Locus later episodes at least get visually better. Okay, great. Okay, I'll, I'll hang on and see how it goes. I always liked Loki as a character in the films. But um, I'm not too sure about this, uh, this standalone series. So Japan's kicking off. What's this? Call to arms from the Netherlands. Oh, yeah, okay. So we've got, uh, I can invite to the United States to faction. Let's do that. Send. World tension's already maxed out anyway. It's not going to get any worse. Cavalry, join the Cavalry Corps. Okay, so the US has just got involved. Nice work. Finally, medium tank chassis. Okay. Uh, let's get on with medium tank armor as well. And then we can finally start producing some armored units that might be worth a damn. Still, 1941. That's maybe not too far behind. We did start the war early. Wait, are you telling me that Australia was not involved in the war before? That can't be right. Just can't be right. So let's also... I mean, I've got no land fighting going on, so I'm not getting much in the way of land experience. That will soon hopefully change. Let's go for some uh, light tanks. We'll, we will possibly build a few more lights. Maybe. So what have we got? You guys... Right, you're finished your training. Excellent. You'll be following the Marines into action. Do I have enough planes for some more? Oh, we have enough for some naval bombers. Cool, where can I put these? Do I hold all this? Let's just see the lands. I mean, I can put them in my allies, so it's not a problem. Hmm. Naval bombers over here would be... I mean, there's got to be... There's got to be enemy ships going in there, right? Should be able to reach from here. Let's do that. Should we put them straight to work? No, let's train them up first. Let's be nice. What have we got over here? The fighters. The fighters are back at full strength. These aren't, but we're not making any. So <laughs> that's not any great surprise. Let's put them down here. And we'll assign them to this area as well for ground attack. What have we got here? We've got a, st oh, a stack of unusual stuff, in fact. We've got some... They're supporting, they're both supporting um, army number five. Well, they're the good guys. Let's support the Marines. The Marines will always need help going in. That's on. And um, yes, that works fine when the armored stuff eventually gets into a fight somewhere. Greece, Greece has held. Okay. I've never seen Greece hold out ever. Ever. So that's interesting. It makes you wonder what the hell Germany is doing, doesn't it? The Intel ledger. Does this help? Available manpower. Divisions. Where's the number of divisions? Oh, they're trucks.
don't know what I'm looking for here. Is there a section that says number of divisions? Estimated. All adults served. They've gone to that already. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know. You could see it easy enough before in the old screens. Trucks. Trains. Supply fulfillment. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. There are some div plenty of divisions on the border, like. 